three weeks before to his eagerly awaited fight with rising star Kamzat Chimaev, UFC middleweight contender Paulo Costa revealed that he had elbow surgery. The MMA community is in shock as a result of this news, with fans doubting Costa's preparation for the match that is set to take place in just 10 days. Today, UFC President Dana White said that he is looking for a replacement, which suggests that the much-awaited Costa vs. Chimaev matchup will probably be cancelled. The MMA community is shocked by this news because Costa and Chimaev's fight has been anticipated for more than a year. In a surprising twist, Dylan Danis threw his hat into the ring, suggesting on Twitter, I'm free next week Dana White give me comms at Chimaev. Although Danis's suggestion was welcomed with some amusement and raised eyebrows, the UFC brass doesn't currently seem to be taking him seriously. The Costa Chimea fight's uncertainty has sparked speculation about possible Costa replacements in the event that he is found to be medically ineligible to compete. Although no official selections have been made, names like Jared Cannonier and Marvin Vettori have been mentioned as potential replacements. In a recent interview, Alexander Pantoja made an unexpected release on Colby Covington. In the realm of mixed martial arts, Covington has a reputation for loud trash-talking and a divisive demeanor inside the octagon. Pantoja, who got the chance to train with Covington, revealed a new side to the fighter. Here is what he said. I saw Colby work a couple of times at American Top Team. You know, for me, he's... I don't like to say, he's an asshole. But you know, he takes care of one of my coaches, one guy I really liked. Because of that, I'm happy he has some respect from me. He took care of Gabriel de Oliveira, a boxing coach from ATT. I can talk with Gabriel about him and he says, he's nice with me, he pays for my lunch, he pays for one room just for me. That's very important. You can see who you are when you do stuff like that, you know? Of course, he's a character when the cameras are on. But he's a humble guy when everything is off and taking care about your coaches, that's very important. Because of that, he has a little bit of respect from me. Covington's behind-the-scenes demeanor reminds us that fighters are more than what we see on screen. In a sport that often celebrates violence and aggression, Pantoja's revelation prompts us to reconsider our assessments of athletes. The highly anticipated matchup between Islam Makachev and Charles Oliveira is now off the table. Oliveira used social media to inform his followers of the sad news and to provide images of the injury that made him withdraw from the bout. Within the MMA world, there is a raging discussion about Oliveira's unclear future step. Some feel that he should be offered an instant championship opportunity against Makachev once he is completely healed, considering his strong resume and the circumstances of his withdrawal. Others feel that he could need to show off his abilities once more possibly needing to win in a different match before making another go for the gold. As the MMA world holds its breath, the anticipation for Charles Oliveira's comeback continues to grow. Only time will tell if he will be given a crack at the championship right away or if he will first need to establish himself in the cage. Please share in the comments what you believe is next for Charles Oliveira. In a surprising turn of events, Charles Oliveira has pulled out of his highly anticipated matchup against Islam Makachev, and Alexander Volkanovsky stepped in. However, as the news broke, former UFC lightweight champion, Khabib Nurmagomedov, offered his perspective on the situation. Here is what he said. Okay, this is a situation, but Islam is the world champion. If somebody can make 155 and the UFC says this guy is a contender, who cares? It doesn't matter. If King Kong can make 155, okay, bring him here, it doesn't matter. Islam is a world champion, it doesn't matter who he faces. Vok, Charles, or Poirier was supposed to be Charles, but he pulled out, and we don't care about it anymore. But if they want Vok again, the first fight was very good and competitive, but we know and their team knows that we won, it was not even a split decision. Vok was looking good in that fight. But he lost, and he knows it, his team knows it, and the whole world knows it. Islam is always ready for him. Thanks for watching. 
If you're a fan of MMA be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss an update. Also leave a comment below with your thoughts on today's news. Keep supporting the sport, and we'll see you in the next one.